series sampling with GarageBand. In this video, we're going to be using GarageBand as a base, but using a outside AU VST instrument, uh, which is an add-on in GarageBand, which enables us to use uh, uh, another uh, piece of software developed by an outside company outside of Mac, um, and then insert that in GarageBand so we can use that tool within GarageBand uh, in this particular situation to sample, chop up samples. So this is a song that um, we're going to be working on or I'm going to show you the process of. So all those sounds other than the drums and some of the bass which you probably can't really hear in there uh, the way I have it mic'd is uh, all chopped up little individual samples you can see here this is the mapping of the song these are the different samples. So what this is, is it's a song by Baby Huey called uh, California Dreamin'. Uh, it's a remake of California Dreamin'. Um, and I'm going to show you how to use this software, which is called TX16WX Sampler. Again, it's TX16WX. I'll have information in the uh, info section under this video on it. But what you're going to want to do before you start this is go find it on Google, download the Mac version, uh, make sure your GarageBand is unopened, and then once it's downloaded and installed success successfully, open GarageBand and you'll be able to access uh, the, the software. If you have an older version of Mac, an older version of GarageBand, there's always a chance that uh, things might get tripped up in the process. The software might be uh, uh, to you may need a newer version of Mac for it or your OS X uh, may have a hard time with placing the VST software in the library where it needs to go for you to be able to access it uh, within GarageBand it can be rather complex um, if you have new GarageBand new new OS X you should be fine it should do it automatically if not I'd advise you to Google search how to install VST instruments in GarageBand um, using your version on YouTube or, or just in Google. Okay, so first thing to do uh, is we're going to open up the software. So I'm going to get a new track. I'm going to choose a software instrument. Um, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to turn on smart controls and I'm going to make sure uh, that in this section that this eye icon, the show inspector, is on the plugin is going to make sure there's the drop down and then I'm going to click on instrument when you go on instrument you'll see here there's there's uh, a few different Apple instruments that come pre installed um, none of them seem to be fully developed they seem to be beta beta form but they allow you to use them one is actually a sampler in this sampler maybe I'll have a video on you can uh, map out one sample across the entire keyboard and it'll change the pitch you can increase the pitch decrease the pitch uh, which will also increase the speed, decrease the speed. In this software, which was developed by CWITEC, the, this is the TX16WX, we're going to click on the stereo version. This doesn't, as far as I can see, allow you to change the pitch or change the speed. It just allows you to chop up the samples. So I'm going to grab the Baby Huey California Dreamin' WAV file. It needs to be a wave. If it's not a wave, it's not going to load. Uh, you may know how to convert a song from MP3, MP4 to WAV. I just use an online converter. I Google convert MP3, MP4 to WAV file, and I just use one of them. And all of the samples I use, I actually get off of YouTube, and I just use a file converter, an online converter for that as well. It makes it so you can get easy access to uh, large uh, library of songs for free. So this is, I'm going to use musical typing. This is how the sample is now. It's just going to play the sample straight. When I hit the, the T, it just begins to play the sample. But what we want to do is we want to edit that and chop it up so that way you get multiple different sounds mapped out across your keyboard. So what I'm going to do is go down here. You see Keyboard Mapper. We want Wave Editor. When we get in the Wave Editor, um, I'm going to click on the sound that I want to edit the wave for. You're going to see here's the wave for the whole song. Here's Start start parameter and an end parameter so these are the parameters I want to work in to work out my samples I don't want to work through the whole song there's a very specific parts that I want to use uh, you'll hear here are the horns 
here are some flutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the slicer portion and I'm going to say I want to chop this whole section in the uh, we'll say um, 32 pieces. Now if you knew this was four bar measure and each bar has four downbeats and you wanted to have it chopped into 16 you could potentially take four measures <clears throat> chop it into their individual quarter notes and have 16 quarter notes which you could then chop with and play with. With this, um, the sounds that I want are a little bit all over the place uh, so I'm just gonna um, chop it up in this this manner. So once I zoom in I can see the individual <coughs> horn notes within the song. Sorry, when I click it, for whatever reason, it decides it wants to zoom in once in a while. So I'm going to try to make it so that doesn't happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Now, here are the different... So I had the parameter set start to finish. I said I want 32 chops within this, so it chopped it up into 32 pieces. Now, if I wanted exactly where it chopped it, I could right-click it, put layout slices. It will lay out all these slices in the manner that it is here. But I want it to be specific chops. I want each key to have a specific note. So what I'll do is this is the first note, the first parameter. So I'm going to move it over. So that's the first. There we go with it zooming in again. The second, here's the second parameter, the start parameter for the second note that I want chopped up. I'm going to put it right at the beginning of this horn and then end it right where the horn meets the, the next note that comes up. So first sample I have, second sample. Now I'm going to get the third sample. final fourth sample and I use a lot more samples than this but I'm just just to, sh to show you how to use it now there's the fourth so here say that all this was mapped out how I wanted I would right click layout slice slices go back to keyboard mapper all the slices are now laid out across the keyboard this is the original full loop I'm gonna right click it delete group so now I'm left with uh, these new samples we just mapped out. Now these are these are other just random samples that I didn't chop. I didn't specify where I wanted to be chopped, so they're probably not exactly where I want them to be. But what I want to do is I click this whole group, and I want to make it so that when I click it, when I click on the sample, it plays all the way through it, that I don't need to hold it down. So I'm gonna turn the release all the way up, meaning it's it's just going to play it fully through. Now, to make it so that two different samples don't play over each other and make a mess like this, I'm going to go to the mode, and I'm going to click mono, meaning only one sound plays at a time. So when I hit a key, and then hit it the next key, the first key sound cuts. Alright, so now, like I mentioned, I didn't precisely chop this up, so I want to look at the, um, the actual uh, layout of the samples I used for the actual song. So here's, here's the keyboard mapper. So there are all the different flute sounds, the different horn sounds. This is what it looks like in Wave Editor, as you can see. Uh, I've much more precisely chosen where I wanted the sounds to start and to stop. And then I just use that and then playing that with the, uh, with the musical typing uh, came up with this rhythm. So that's basically it. It's a rather simple uh, piece of software to use, um, but it is quite powerful. I'm um, going to have another video where I go over adding the drums, adding the bass to it, just the other uh, aspects. So you might be able to, you know, 
you work through the samples, make something, but then you're trying to figure out what drums to use. I'll use built-in drums uh, that are software instrument drums that come with GarageBand, as well as uh, software instruments for the bass that come with GarageBand. Um, so keep it nice and simple. I'm not going to import any uh, sounds in from other uh, software, but uh, it's a, a nice, easy way to, to start get, getting a um, fully realized track with uh, mainly built-in GarageBand sounds and then this rather easy to install uh, external um, uh, VST software.